Hello all, uh, I am Vizio Prem I am starting a series to make you all understand about the suspension unit. So for today's session, I am going to talk about how to form this simple suspension unit. Okay, so to make this simple suspension unit, we require these all instruments. Let's just focus over here first what our instruments are going to be required. First thing is knotted rope. Then we have this ring sling or we also could use this arm sling. Then we have a S hook, dog clip and a clip. This clip can be of wooden material or it can be of plastic material. So first of all, why do we require this knotted rope? Because it provides friction. And because of its friction, we can easily adjust the height of the suspension unit and because of which the patient will not fall down or part of the limb of the patient will not fall down. That is why for friction we require this knotted rope. Next thing, this is ring sling. This is important to suspend particular part. Especially this ring sling is used to suspend wrist or ankle of the patient. S hook to suspend this suspension unit over the mesh. The suspension mesh here we have to place it over exactly the soft area. Why? Because if you suspend over this region, then there are possibilities it will slide from right to left. If you apply over here, there is possibility it will go from up and down. That is why at cross, it will stay at the point. That is why it is used over here. Next thing, dog clip so that we can easily suspend this sling with the suspension unit and wooden clip for adjusting the height of the suspension. Alright, so let's begin. As I have already placed the S hook over here, then I am going to take this rope and make a knot. How to make this knot? I am going to make a knot, special knot we can use. First, make a big O. Then you have to take this part of a rope around your wrist like this. Then you have to insert in the big rope, big O, and then you insert in the small O. And whatever the amount of space which is here created that you insert in the S hook and pull the bigger rope like this. So once you pull the bigger rope, it will be so big that nobody else can ever untie it. After this, we have to find the another part of the rope. This rope is actually very big. Still, then we have to insert that end in another hole of the wooden clip or plastic clip. Then according to the adjustment of the height, okay, as I said, this rope is very big. So I'm just adjusting over here and then making a simple knot over this area. All right. And then making this simple suspension ready. Now this dog clip can be inserted over here. So that after this, if you want to suspend a ring sling or arm sling, we can suspend it easy. You can adjust the height with this wooden plate, it will come up and also we can make it down according to the patient's limbs comfort. I hope you like this video, there are more videos coming up for this series, I am going to explain how it is different for axial suspension, vertical suspension, how to suspend for the uh, upper limb, lower limb. So stay tuned and let me know if you want to know anything else about the suspension unit. Thank you.